What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be changing out these lights in my climate control today. I noticed the other day that this one stopped lighting up and then the other two are not lighting up. So I'm going to be changing out the lights in my climate control on my 2009 Toyota Corolla. Should be simple. Just got to take off a couple clips on the outside and pop this thing out. This is what it looks like with the lights on. As you can see, this one, I know it's kind of hard and dark in here to see, but this one's not shining, and then you can see the other two are an orange light. I'm gonna change them out to a white LED on all of them. So this is what it looks like before. And this is what it looks like now. All right, guys, and before I begin changing out the lights in my climate control, please hit the subscribe button and like the video and share it if you can. It really helps to get the videos going and get more views on it. So if you could, please just smash that like button. Um, so let's begin. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna change out the, the lights. These are the lights that I bought for the, the climate control lights. Um, I ordered these on Amazon. I'll put a link of these to these in the description. So pretty much the only thing you're going to need to do is get a flat head screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver so that way we can take apart the plastic trim around here. A lot of it just pulls apart. Just pull it off. Pulls off. And the same with the top pieces. take off the top piece and then so you're going to need the Phillips head screwdriver there's two screws one right here and one on this side Climate control popped off. There's going to be three cables we got to disconnect. One, two, and three. And then we're going to have to disconnect these wire things that are for the climate control, the left and the right one. They just should snap off on the back. And then we'll get this whole thing out of here so it'll be easier to get to the lights. climate control lights done um, you can pretty much get access to everything here I wouldn't do anything more if you can see at the bottom there those white ones those are the the lights we got to get rid of you can pretty much just take a flathead screwdriver and unscrew them I just kind of, kind of just drop it in there and try to hopefully get it lined up. I believe these are polarity. Um, you need to make sure the polarity is the correct way. So if you don't see them lighting up the first time, try to turn them around. But you literally just drop it in there and then give it a tighten with the screwdriver.
once we got these swapped out, you can see them in there and down at the bottom. Just gonna plug everything in real quick and turn on the key. Oh, and I forgot to mention too, when you take these out, try to turn all your knobs over into the same position so that way when you put it back, everything will line up. So that way you're not getting these mixed up because you can turn this all the way to the wrong side and then when you plug it in, it won't let you go any farther back. So just make sure you have it twisted all the way to the same spot that you left at. All right, you guys, I got the lights installed and I just plugged in the back three wires. Um, off camera, it took me about like five, 10 tries to try to get sure, make sure their lights were in there the right way. It's not easy being able to drop them down in the back of these things and make sure they go in the same exact way you want them to. So it took me a few tries. And also too, um, I grabbed a rag just to try to hold it over here and every time I'd turn the lights on and off because the lights are super hard to see during the daytime so I needed something to cover it up to get a shadow so that way I could see if they're actually turning on and off. So I did that like five, ten times to make sure every single one was coming on. And now that I've verified putting my head underneath the towel, um, making sure that I could actually see them all coming on, I'm going to put everything back together now. All right, you guys, this is what it looks like now. After replacing them with the white LEDs, I think it looks pretty good. It also matches the white LEDs on the radio. Gives it a nice new look to it. A lot modern. The only thing I wish that we could change are the orange lights on here. But I don't think there's an easy fix to do that. If there is, I might look into it. But that's it for everything. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.